something, I will fix your broken arm. From now on, I will take care of you. Florence Nightingale was born into a privileged and affluent British family. Even in her young age, she showed great compassion and interest in nursing. Growing up, Florence received an excellent education, which was uncommon for girls during that time. Her parents had grand expectations for their daughter, envisioning her as a proper lady who would marry into a respectable family and lead a conventional life. Florence developed a deep sense of empathy and concern for the less fortunate. She witnessed the stark inequalities and suffering around her, particularly during visits to hospitals. These experiences profoundly impacted her, shaping her understanding of the world and fueling her desire to make a difference. I must do something to help those poor soldiers. Mr. Herbert, Moved by a deep sense of duty and compassion, I am writing to express my sincere desire to volunteer my services as a nurse during the ingoing Crimean War. I have been informed by the papers just this morning that our people have been suffering from their injuries and I want to use my skills in the medical field to aid my people. Give me a pen and a paper. Miss Nightingale, I received your letter and I am considering your presence to help us treating our wounded soldiers in the military hospital. You may bring some nurses with you across the country to help us in this situation. Florence's decision was met with resistance and disapproval from her family and society. Nursing was considered a lowly profession at the time, unfit for someone of her social standing. However, Florence remained resolute and determined to follow her passion. Gradually, Florence's parents began to understand the significance of her aspirations. They saw the potential impact she could make on society and the legacy she could leave behind. They finally gave their approval for Florence to pursue her dreams of becoming a nurse. How much longer are we going to stay in this hell, Captain? I know, soldier. This life isn't here forever. But we have a duty in that country. I hope this will end. Help! Help! We need help! Hand me a bowl with clean, warm water, surgical gloves, povidone iodine, gloves, and bandages. Florence, together with 38 other nurses, set off for Scutari and was confronted with scenes of unimaginable suffering. The conditions were abysmal, overcrowded wards, lack of sanitation, and insufficient supplies that caused rampant infections. Florence immediately sprang into action. She organized her team of nurses and implemented strict hygiene practices. She emphasized the importance of cleanliness, fresh air, and nutritious food. Florence tirelessly worked day and night together with her team, attending to the wounded and providing comfort and solace to those in pain. Her compassionate presence earned her the nickname, the Lady with the Lamp. Florence would make rounds through the dimly lit hospital wards at night, carrying a lamp to provide a glimmer of hope to the suffering soldiers. Her mere presence brought comfort and reassurance in the darkest moments.
Florence shared her experiences in the Crimean War to advocate for improved sanitation, better hospital design, and professional nursing education. Florence left the world with an indelible mark. She was celebrated as a pioneer in nursing and a symbol of selfless service to humanity. Her contributions continue to inspire nurses and healthcare professionals worldwide. Florence Nightingale's contribution to nursing and healthcare earned her international recognition and acclaim. Her story is a testament to the power of determination, compassion, and the belief that one person can make a profound impact on the world. Her unwavering dedication to improving healthcare and elevating human suffering remains an enduring symbol of selflessness and service.